All right, so if you live in Canada, about a month ago, anyone who flies a drone that weighs more than 250 grams now has to follow these new rules, or potentially you can get fined up to $3,000. By who? We're not sure yet. I don't know if it's the police or, or who exactly is enforcing this, they didn't say, but here are the rules. You cannot fly more than 300 feet or 90 meters above the ground. Not too bad. Uh, most of the states that have regulated, they've gone with 400 feet, um, but 300 feet's not bad. Um, I'll cut to a little clip with uh, me flying at 300 feet. Gives you a decent perspective, so not a bad place to start. This one here is pretty crippling, though. You cannot fly um, within 250 feet or 75 meters of any buildings, structures, vehicles, vessels, animals, or people. Basically, you can't fly anywhere. 250 feet from any structures, any vehicles, any vessels, or any animals. And as for what constitutes an animal, they didn't say. So I don't know if that's squirrel, dog, deer, moose, fish, bird. Really, you could say that you can't fly a drone anywhere, essentially, with these rules. Um, the next one is you can't fly within 9 kilometers of an airport. So that means anyone south of Toronto, if you live in Ontario, you can't fly anymore. Sorry. Uh, there's a few little tiny spots scattered throughout that, that you know, don't quite meet those nine kilometer radiuses. Um, but basically there's enough airports scattered throughout southern Ontario um, that you can't fly anywhere. And even for anyone that lives around me locally, um, pretty well the county is now completely off limits other than around Sandbanks and just around the, the south tip of the county right along uh, Lake Ontario. Um, anywhere within Belleville is now off limits because of the helipad. Um, so you really have to be careful and watch where you're flying. The next one, and I don't know exactly how we're going to be careful about this, but you can't fly within controlled or restricted airspace. So at the moment I have no idea where controlled or restricted airspace is. So feel free to release a map, Canadian government. Um, next is you can't fly over forest fires, police, or emergency personnel. And that makes total sense, I respect that. Um, they don't want you screwing around with your drone while they're working and um, eventually I'm sure these organizations if they don't already they will be getting their own drones that they'll have in and around their operations. Uh, next is you can't fly over groups or over open air gatherings of people um, and that makes sense we've already said that you can't fly within 250 feet of people so it makes sense that you can't fly over a big stadium full of them. So thank you for reiterating that. Um, Next we have, you can't fly at night or in clouds. Um, so at night, not bad. Um, I don't really fly too much at night. I've always thought it's a bit dangerous. My drone does have lights on it. So I've always thought if you had a big open field, you could go and, and just kind of go straight up, take some pictures of a, you know, a city lit up at night and come down, but uh, I can't do that. Um, and you cannot um, go in clouds. That makes sense, no visibility. Now second last, this is a, a big one for some people, doesn't mean a lot to others, but you have to keep your drone in visual line of sight if you are the pilot. Um, meaning you cannot wear goggles and view what the drone is viewing while you're flying. You have to keep line of sight on your drone if you're the operator. Um, in the states, what a lot of them have done is you have to go with a buddy system. So if I'm wearing goggles and flying my drone, I have to have someone with me that is watching my drone for me. I think that that is a good way to go. I think that banning them all together um, really limits uh, the sport, the hobby, um, and the industry. There's a lot of companies that are making these things, selling a lot of them. Um, and you can't fly more than one drone at a time. Um, and these rules are for recreational pilots, so I think that that one isn't really too big of a deal. Um, you know, the only time you'd be flying more than one drone at a time is if you were um, had pre-programmed routes and you were spraying a farm field or uh, doing survey work or something like that. So, so not too big of a deal. These fines carry, uh, or these these um, new laws carry a potential fine of up to three thousand dollars. And they haven't really said who that'll be enforced by or what that'll look like. I don't know how someone is going to monitor if you're over three hundred feet. Um, or exactly if you're 250 feet away from something, um, it's going to be fairly difficult and I think that um, these laws definitely need to be reworked. Um, but for now, heading into the spring and the summer, it's really kind of a, a drag for um, 
pilots because we now really don't have anywhere to fly, um, legally anyway. So uh, that's it for us over here at Seagan Farms this week. That's my opinion on the new drone laws. Um, stick with us, hit that subscribe button, uh, like, comment. Uh, we're over 100 subscribers now, so keep on going. Thanks, guys.